Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Menya True Nerd, and welcome back to Red Faction Guerrilla, where, well, last time things went more than a little bit wrong, and apparently, uh, yes, we needed to uh, go to the Marauders and try and get some help from them, and to do that, we need a radiation-proof car to get through the radioactive badlands, and luckily, I've off-screened a little bit, and I have got ourselves a car, thanks to some scrap that I've invented, come on, here we go, 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 so this is it. This is the radiation proof car with all the radioactive plating I've put on it. And as you can see, there is definitely no way that radiation can get in to this car. Absolutely no way any radiation could get into this car. No, absolutely not. This car is radiation proof. Anyway, let's go into the radioactive badlands. Yes, unfortunately, um, now that I've got that upgrade, literally every car I get into, even when I've just stolen off the EDF that Sam could never have touched, even like one I steal off the Marauders, is now deemed to be radiation proof. It's it's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Anyway, 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 anyway. As we scoot our way down towards Marauders, I have a confession to make, ladies and gentlemen. I have a huge confession to make, which is, this is not, get out of the way! This is not the same Alec Mason as you knew and loved from the rest of this run. Unfortunately, I've had some recording trouble with this part, and I came to try and redo something I'd already started, and the game got a bit sniffy, because apparently there's no way to replay a plot mission once you've done it, so... As a result of that, I had to I had to actually redo this game. I had to redo the entire game. I just kind of speed ran it the other day, which is not exactly a trial. It's it's a one oh blimey. It's a wonderful little game, so it was not a trial at all to kind of speed run through it. Uh, I've got all the same main upgrades I had, like I've got the Thermo Barrett rocket launcher and the fully upgraded nano rifle. I don't have the grinder anymore because that's unlocked by guerrilla actions. I've mainly been kind of I've been doing the most efficient way to complete it, so I haven't done as many guerrilla actions. So as a result of that, I'm missing a few bits and pieces but I've got I've got the key bits I've got the key bits this is also the first part not the first part you'll see because I record things in different options to which I release them but uh, the first part I think I've recorded in my uh, the new uh, menu true Nerd headquarters the new studio one call it studio. it's a room uh, the room that I record things in and it's oh it's so lovely it's so much nicer than the room I used to record and edit things in it's so much better it's lovely but yes here we are here we are here we are here we are uh, approaching marauder territory this I'd have more faith in kind of Samania's big declaration that, oh yes, the Marauders are misunderstood, we can work with them, we just need to work with them, if, you know, I'd met a single Marauder in my entire journey who hadn't immediately run up to me and tried to stab me with a great big point thing, but they never do, they never kind of say, hello, maybe we should be allies or something, will we be friends, maybe we should talk about, it. no, it's, it's just straight with the knife in the eye tactic, so, I don't know, it, it's, 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 it's a little odd that all of a sudden we're going to do the whole, well, now we have to be friends with the Marauders. Me and the Marauders have a history. A history that basically goes, they shoot me with harpoons and I hammer them in the head. I hammer most things in the head, though, in all fairness. That's just a thing that Alec Mason does. He should really see a psychologist about this. Oh, oh, I, I saw Marauders appearing behind me. Maybe I should just try and outrun them. Because we're trying to be friends. We're being friends with the Marauders. Friends. Friends with the Marauders. I just ran one of them over. That was a roadside accident. That was an accident and nothing more. I'm just going to turn off the road. If they're trying to overtake, I'm going to let them overtake. Just rules of the road, absolutely fine. Just absolutely fine. Guys. Are we... F we're not friends, are we? No, we're definitely not friends. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, you're going to explode. Anyone else want to explode? Oh, blimey. Okay, I get the feeling that these guys don't actually want to be friends. I'm getting the feeling, actually. Uh, nuclear launcher. Yes, mu nuclear armament. This is the right thing to do right now. This is going fine. Uh, and when I say going fine, I mean not fine at all. Back in the car. Back in the car. Use the car's armor in place of my own. Go, 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 go. go. The car's not working anymore. Right, never mind. Got some... <laughs> I managed to recharge my own armour. Right, well, they don't have jetpacks. I do. Technological advantage. Up the cliff we go. I think they can't get up there. They might not be... They might be able to get up there, actually. I don't know. We might be able to get up there. Okay, I need to get across to here, by the looks of it. Uh, now, where are the... Oh, the still marauders here, mind. Uh, you know what? Leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. We want to be friends. Friends. This is a peace mission. 
It's supposed to be a mission of peace. That's what we're doing. Oh, blimey, they're just shooting me, aren't they? They do not believe in this peace mission. They are not up for this peace mission at all. Oh, I think they've lost me, or some of them have anyway. That guy has. And now he's lost everything. Right, hang on. I need to get into... I think I need to get to high ground here. I need to get to high ground. This, this big-ass thing here, this seems like an excellent way to get to high ground. Uh, all I need to do is just run through Marauder Territory and get up high. Yep, up onto the roof. And then let my jetpack recharge. And then... Oh, dear. And... And no, no jetpack. This is the moment I need you. Yes. Well done, jetpack. You got this. I always had faith. I always believed. I always believed jetpack. Right, now. Now, 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 now. We're supposed to be going over here. But I feel like, yes, they don't have jetpacks. Just milk that technological advantage. Milk that advantage. Milk that. What the heck is all this? I think it's a statue. They're worshipping and dedicating it to peace. Well, I have my own offering. Fire! Fire is my offering. Hello. Are you going to go here? Yes. Let's continue offering. Continuing offering the, the thing to fire. You know, oh, God. You just stop it, Will, what of you. Look, I came here on a mission of peace... Look, I will personally murder anyone that gets in the way of this peace mission. I, do you understand how, this is how seriously I take peace. This is how seriously I take peace. I am willing to murder anyone. Right, let's just go. Let's just go. The, gen, the genocide has made my point. I've made my point. Are we going to... Are we storming the, um, the Marauder base? Are we, do we need to just kind of grab their technology for our own? That's kind of cool. Oh no, where'd Sam come from? Sam was not in the car. Sam was not... And also, why are they not attacking me? I've murdered, like... How many people did I murder outside? Quite a few. Quite a few. Who's this? Ooh, Marauder. I, I like the internal decorating. I'll give them. They're good at stabbing. They're good at internal decoration. They could be friends with Evil John. You, show us the forge. Not until we have a deal. Excellent. Now we're talking about deals. We just showed up, started murdering everyone outside, and now we're up for... Does she have a zip across her breasts? Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Camera, go back to her. She actually has a zip across her breasts. That's a zip on her breasts. That's kind of odd. You get these freaks in control, or I start vaporizing. You started vaporizing ten minutes ago. This man kept it safe. Yes, this man kept the forge safe. Also, he put it in a gun, and just two minutes ago he was using it to vaporize those lot outside. But let's not draw attention to the fact that he stole the forge and then used it to murder all of you. Let's not focus on that. Yeah, she definitely has a zip on her breasts there. I don't know what the, um... I don't know what their deal is, really. The I don't know what the accelerator is. I mean, they're clearly better at technology than we kind of assume, but it's kind of odd that a group of hyper-advanced technologists would actually, you know, be using pointy sticks for a large part of the time. It's just a bit weird. I find it a bit weird, anyway. Maybe it's perfectly normal. Either case, it seems like the plan is pretty clear. We are now going to be uh, helping out the Marauders. And to do that, we're going to be... Well, we're going to do it to fire a missile at the Hydra. We're, we're going to do missiles at Hydra. We're going to use an accelerator to blow up the Hydra. Ooh, Marauders. Are we friends now? Are we friends? Friend? Yeah. Yeah, they seem fine. They seem fine. Yeah. Anti oh, bloody hell. You might want to see a doctor about that arm. It does appear to have partly come... Co oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine now. It's fine now. You should probably see a doctor anyway. Yes, apparently we're friends with the Marauders now. They've forgiven the whole murder frenzy thing that we just did. All right, let's see what the game wants me to do in preparation for Operation Bring Down the Hydra. Oh, we're back in EOS, apparently. We are back in EOS. All right, that's fine. We've got a couple of things to do here. The game says this is the way I should go to get to that mission. I have a better idea. All right, jetpack, do not fail me now. And down we go. And nice controlled descent with the jetpack. And controlled descent with the jetpack. Controlled descent. And there it is. Right there. Look at that. Jetpack for the win. Now, what do you want me to do, game? This is the EDF RM8. Oh, I mean, it was a bit smaller than the RF7, sure, but the battery life was dreadful. 
Right, we're, okay, it, it's a missile. It's a missile and we're launching it to destroy the Hydra. Fine, so we need to steal a missile. Got it. Marauders are right. Ooh, are we joining up with the Marauders? Excellent. Oh, I'm prote- Oh, wait, they're doing the thieving. I'm doing the- Oh, guys, guys, you have deployed your forces badly if you think that I should be doing the defending. I, like, when it comes to trucks, if they need to be blown up, I'm your man. Trucks need to be not blown up. Maybe ask someone else for this to do this one. I mean, shortcuts, shortcuts I'm great at, like this. See? Figured that one out. Beautiful. Look, I'm taking another shortcut, another shortcut. Wait, I'm on spotting targets for artillery base. Hmm. Okay, interesting. It's a little bit unusual. I mean, normally, like, you send me to smash things with a hammer sort of missions. That's the sort of mission I'm good at, the part where we just smash things with a hammer. Are there people to smash with a hammer? Oh, there's totally a person to smash with a hammer. All right, I see why you asked me to do this then. Right, and where's the last of them? Where's the last of them? Oh, he's down there, is he? All right. I think I got him. All right, so, okay, console. We need to go to a console. We need to find a console. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, blimey, that's the console there. Okay. Careful with the destruction. There we go. Right, console. What do you want me to do? Okay, so we've got ourselves a thing, and I look around, and... Oh, blimey, don't... Okay, don't... Don't shoot them. Shoot everyone else. Okay, there's a bit of there's a bit of latency. A bit of latency, so I've got to shoot slightly ahead of where they are. Are they ahead or oh I found them. I found them early. I found them early. I found them early. Boom. Oh, oh. Uh, they get blown very high up by a bit of a uh, oop by a, oop. <laughs> Though I do have to be careful because I, I do appear to be just kind of just flinging them at the convoy. Which is a little bit of an inconvenience. Uh, I can take out this ahead of time. Beautiful. And, ooh. Oh, I can, uh-oh. Um, the convoy caught up faster than I thought it was going to. And, go. 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 There we go. Yes, okay, this seems pretty easy, all things considered. Uh, just assuming I can hit these guys and not the trucks. I feel like I'm going to potentially be... Uh, if I get the truck caught in explosions, that's probably bad. But I feel like the truck might get caught in explosions that I'm causing. Right, let's look ahead. It's probably best if I if I can look ahead, and then I can flip back to the truck if I have to later. But if I can get in, if I can get the truck sorted before he, anyone even shoots it. Oh, oh, yeah, hang on. Well, who's shooting it? You are. Oi! Stop it! Oh, he fell off it. He is going a long way. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, roadblock needs to be taken out. All right, seem to have done. <laughs> the truck was just sitting around the corner. Yeah, it was just sitting around the corner. I'm kind of starting to feel a bit sorry for the EDF at this point because, in all fairness, we've kind of become the dominant power on Mars pretty much already. At this point, we've got the satellite weapons, we've got the heavy artillery, we've got the band of marauders, we've got the missiles. At this point, they've just got like you know a few tanks and things on the ground. And oh, is that is that propaganda? Yes, I think that was propaganda. Excellent. Apparently we're done. Magnificent. Yeah, we're kind of just slaughtering the ETF at this point. I feel kind of slightly sorry for them, in fact. Right, and now to make sure that no one else uses this weapon against us. Just need a nice hole. Yep. And a nuclear... Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh that's lovely, isn't it? Right, time to just walk away from this base, just nice and calm then, I guess. Oh, it's another one of those missions where the game's decided that what I ought to do is go a very long way round. Nope. Oh, there we go. That's a nice controlled landing with a jetpack there. Now, let's see what they want me to do over in this lovely mission here. When the EDF destroyed our base, people lost hope. We have like eight other bases. We have Vosha and the Marauders, but it's not enough. Oh good, you've got Vasha and the Marauders. I'm sure everyone will be thrilled to know that we're now working with the savage people in the spike mass who just seem to stab everything full stop. I mean, they were there at the fall of dust and they weren't helping or taking on the EDF. They were just looting and killing. They attacked me when I was trying to get medicine and data out of the ruins of dust. Okay? They're not heroes. People aren't gonna like them. 
but okay. So apparently we're heading to a radio station to try and do some propagandering. Again, not not convinced we're going to be able to give people the good news that they want during this uh, this rebellion. The the excellent news of don't worry, the horde of terrifying savages who attack everything on sight. They're on our side now. Woo! All right, Sam, get in the car. Only Sam needs to come along too. Well, that does make sense. If someone is going to go and do the great big mission about, you know, the, the radio transmission, it should probably be Sam. I feel like Ali Mason strength line sledgehammering people in the face, not in, you know, great big speeches. We shall smash them in the face with sledgehammers, and we shall smash them in the legs with sledgehammers, and we will smash them in the knees with sledgehammers. Uh, also, we will smash them in the arms with sledgehammers. We will take out their buildings with sledgehammers. We will fight them pretty much wherever with sledgehammers. But it will pretty much always be in the dust with sledgehammers. Because we're on Mars. And there's a lot of dust. Right, okay. Oh, blimey, there's a few people here. I think I managed to kill at least one of them there. Okay, let's just get past. Let's get past. I think there's more people here than there were guarding the central government building. So they've decided that the radio tower is now officially more important than... Uh, the, you know, the, the supposed the centre of democracy is. I know these guys aren't democratic, but the point was, like, it was supposed to be the facade of democracy that kept people from panicking too much. So it kind of feels a bit odd if they couldn't be bothered to, uh, yeah, it just feels a little bit odd if that was what actually was going on, that they've never pretended this radio tower more. Now, ooh, 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 I know how to deal with you. And three charges should do it. Two, three, boom. Now, is anyone going to come up the road to try and stop us? Yes, they are. It's another one of you guys. And one, two. I'll take care of you. Anyone else? Anyone else coming? Oh, someone's coming. Uh, but someone else is over here, too. Who's over here? Oh, no one's over here. Uh, totally is someone coming. Is there another, another bigger APC thing? I don't know what to call those guys. because It's not an APC because there are actual APCs in this game. And uh, they're bigger than this. There we go. Sam, you were standing a little close to that there. You might not want to in future. Now we've got... We've got cars down there. We need to take care of you. Yes, I think that dealt with that. Oof! He came over here to be friends. I have summoned him with my nuclear rocket launcher. Right, okay, I feel like we've got, uh, we're okay for now. We've got okay for now. Now we just need to storm the radio station. And, oh, surprise! Apparently they didn't want to open fire while I was, uh, they didn't want to open fire while I was the other side of the glass. They waited for me to destroy the glass. Here's the recording I made. Let's hope this works. Did you just say recording? She's not going to do the broadcast. Well, why did you come then? Just give me the flipping mixtape and let me take care of it. All right, what are we doing? Um, stop the EDF demolition squads. Okay, so someone's going to try and take down either the tower that's broadcasting it or the station itself. All right. We've got a demolitions expert over here. Right, okay. And there's more coming this side. Okay, so we've basically just got... We're on defensive duties. Again, this isn't my strong point. My strong point would be taking out a rival radio station. Not, not this business. Come over here. Oh, oh, oi, 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 oi. Oh, yeah, we go. Now, oh, there's another one coming. There we go. Right, this seems like pretty simple, to be honest. Just kind of, I mean, the game's put ammo boxes around, but even the hammer seems to work pretty well. And I should say, um, this is not an upgraded hammer. This is, in fact, a completely unupgraded hammer. Because I, um, I, though I've kind of got my key weapons back like the thermo barrack, um, unfortunately, I didn't. I think the hammer upgrades come from guerrilla actions, and I've skipped most of them because I found the most efficient ways to complete this game as fast as possible to get back round to it after the problems I had with, record with recording this damn part. So, uh, yeah, it looks like the default hammer's working pretty darn well. Can't hear the speech, by the way. I have no idea what's being said in the speech. I'm sure it's really, really noble and something or another ring. Great big political speech. I'm kind of glad I can't hear it. I'm sick of political speeches. It's the almost general election time in the UK. I am so sick of political speeches. You have no idea how tired I am of idealistic political speeches where people lie about things. I am so bored. Oh, they're coming in twos now. Clearly stuff is getting real. Fun thing I love about these uh, flower pots. They've got butterflies floating over them. Destroy the flower pots, the butterflies immediately die too. 
because uh, the two things are connected, which is kind of fun. Now, uh, vehicle. We need to get a vehicle to get uh, Sam back to the set. Oh, but first, three. I took care of you. Actually, I probably should have just let them come out. It would have been uh, that would have been a good vehicle to steal. But never mind. Sam, get in the car. There we go. Now, it's time to get Sam back to the safe house. The question is, how much is going to be standing between me and there? Is this uh, from the fact that we haven't just completed the mission that we've just gone uh, this way? It makes me feel like there's going to be actually quite a lot of EDF between me and them, and nothing else. They've got to get down this narrow, this narrow road here, which could be a bit of an issue. Not least as I ran past a whole load of people on the way here that I didn't bother to kill. Uh, go, go, go. Oh, blimey, the EDF have caught up. The EDF have caught up. Uh, turn to the right. There's a bit of a blockade here, but should be able to ram. I think I just killed him with his own car. That is unfortunate. When you just set up a blockade and you're hiding behind it, and someone just rams the blockade and rams your own car into you. That is unfortunate. Uh, I feel like I've got at least one of them behind me still. But are they going to be able to find me? I feel like we're actually escaping from them. Which is weird because the EDF in the little cars are normally really damn fast. It's really hard to escape from them. you just got to turn and fight. So, oh, it feels like also my uh, my Pathfinder for once is actually sidestepping the red dot and finding me nice clear route. Which is uh, very unusual. Excellent. I feel like this has all gone very well indeed. Very smooth. Oops. I've had a small accident. I'm going to fix it. Sam, you might not want to be stand... Fine, you just stay there. There we go. Worked out better than expected. Get back in the car, Sam. Back in the car. We're almost home. We're almost home. So a small accident. Small accident. Small accident. And... Have fun, Sam. <laughs> that end screen. With Alec Mason just diving out of it. Oh, that's beautiful. That's just so beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. I'm guessing Sam wasn't even in there anymore because the moment the mission's ended, she te te teleports out. Yeah, she wasn't even in there anymore. That that was just a beautiful end of mission screen. Excellent. And with that, what looks like the final mission to take back Eos, the final, the finale. The finale is coming up by the looks of it. Before we do that, we've picked up a lot of scrap. What are we going to spend it on? Oh, could it really be anything other than jetpack recharge? Of course it couldn't. So with a new and improved jetpack and the final mission unlocked, I think that's enough for this part. But next week, next week on Red Faction Gorilla, we have the end, the grand finale. That is what we are doing next week. Oh my, what a wonderful game Red Faction Gorilla has been. Oh, this is going to be lovely. But yes, that's next week. And in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Red Faction Gorilla. Thank you very much and goodbye. Haha, <laughs> I'm a genius at time. Oh, oh, okay. This escalated quickly. I'd, I'd like to fly your drone. So good about a butterfly in a bucket. What does that tell you about the human condition? Are we the butterfly and is capitalism the bucket? What happens if you go right to the back in time? The very beginning of time. Oh, you literally just burn the universe.